I never worked for Russia. And you know that answer better than anybody. I never worked for Russia. Goldstone asked Don Jr. to meet with a lawyer from the Russian government willing to provide dirt on Hillary Clinton. Don Jr.'s reply, if it's what you say, I love it. You're fired. She's a Kremlin-connected lawyer named Natalia Veselnitskaya. This indictment of her clearly shows that she has connections to the Russian government, at least that's what the FBI and certainly the Department of Justice believes. Russia's ambassador to the U.S. told his superiors in Moscow that he discussed campaign-related matters with then-Senator Jeff Sessions during the 2016 presidential race. I'm not aware of uh, any of those activities. I have been called a surrogate at a time or two in that campaign, and I didn't have not have communications with the Russians. Kislyak also reportedly said Kushner suggested using Russian diplomatic facilities in the United States for the communications. elected as a president, what will be your foreign policy, politic, especially in the relationships with my country? I know Putin, and I'll tell you what, we get along with Putin. They say Manafort shared polling data with Kalimnik about the campaign and met with him in Madrid to talk about what Manafort's lawyers call a, quote, peace plan for Ukraine. These aren't government allegations. They're statements made by Manafort's own lawyer. Paul Manafort promised to give Deripaska private briefings on the 2016 campaign. And remember, this isn't the only time that Deripaska has been linked to the Trump campaign. between a key Russian investor, a Putin insider, and the Trump associate who was there at this meeting with Putin's money man is Eric Prince, the co-founder of Blackwater, a former Navy SEAL and the brother of the education secretary, Betsy DeVos. Kushner met with Russian bank chief Sergei Gorkov in Trump Tower. Gorkov runs VEB. It's a financial institution described as a Kremlin piggy bank with very close ties to President Vladimir Putin.
there is no connection. You've got Russia. If the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection.